Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we're going to take a look at making this ink drop logo effect right inside Photoshop. So let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop, and my first asset I need is going to be a clip of a video of the ink drop. Right now, you'll see that I'm in the Tip Squirrel workspace. There's a few adjustments that I've made that I like to work in this way. But once I drop video in, and I'm just going to go and grab that off another screen and bring it in and drop it down, you'll see that it now changes. I've got this timeline down the bottom here that I didn't have before. Now that's fine. That's exactly what I need. Another change comes in the Layers panel. You'll see that we've now got a video group. Now, this is very similar to putting them into a group, a layer into a group, maybe into a folder. Let's take a look at this asset. If I just click on the playhead here and I drag it along, you can see how this works. And it's well over two minutes long. In fact, it's two minutes and seven seconds long, which is too long for me, but we'll deal with that in just a little while. First off, I need to see where I want it to start. There's a bit of a black bit at the front there. I'm going to zoom in using the mountains here. And let's move the playhead to where I want it. It's going to be somewhere around here. There we go. That'll do. And I'm just going to crop that off just by clicking and dragging it. And it'll snap to the playhead. There we go. So now my video starts from when the ink starts coming in. Just so I want it. OK, let's go and get a background for this. And again, I'm going to go over and drag this in. But let's go over to Bridge, where I've got all my assets waiting for me. There we go. And I can get this one here. It comes from Photolia. Let's double click it and then open the image and drop it in. Now all I'm going to do is click and drag that across and then drop it down. I'm going to hold down the Shift key just so it goes right in the middle. I'm going to say yes to that. That's fine for a background layer. Now, nothing seems to happen, but if we look over in our video group, you can see there it is. Now, anything that goes in a video group will go one clip after another. So if I zoom back out again, we should see there it is. My clip here or my background is right at the end. To get that out from there, all I do is go over to the video group, click and drag it out of the group. And sure enough, we should be able to see it now when we make this bigger and where the playhead is. There we go. Let's resize that. Control or Command T to transform and Control or Command 0 to fit the handles on screen. And then we can just bring those in really, really easily. Let me go and get my pen here to save me clicking all the time. There we go. And click the tick. And I'm going to Control or Command 0 just to bring that back on screen again or full screen. It's a little bit bigger. Let's go Command Control 1. There we go. 100%. Now, of course, need the background underneath the video group. If I drop it down here, it's going to go into the video group. I need to come right to the bottom. I'm going to doubly make sure by coming right outside and drop it down. So now that's outside the group and it's underneath my ink layer. We can see that in the bottom here in the timeline. Let's just resize that as well. There we go. Now all we need to do is make this transparent. And this is going to be a lot easier than you may think. It's exactly the same technique as we use with still images. If I come over to my layer here and double click, I get my blend ifs. And then all I'm going to do is just move this down and you'll see that it becomes transparent where it's white. So I'm going to actually bring that a little bit back up and then use the Alt key just to split that off, just so we get a nice transformation between the lights and the darks and click OK. So there we go. Now it is completely see through where it is white. Next, let's go and get the logo. So I'm going to go back to bridge and I'm going to bring in my logo here. Now you'll notice that this is a PNG. Let's try that again. This is a PNG open with. There we go. Photoshop 2015. It's a PNG, which means that the transparency keeps the transparent. If uh, you, you've got a white background, you'd have to use the same technique as we just used on the ink. But a PNG will save it with this transparency. Again, I'm just going to move that across. There we go. And space, uh, excuse me, shift to drop it into the middle. Again, we're inside the layer group. So let's bring that up and resize it. 
there we go and then control T to transform control or command zero just to fit it on screen and now holding shift and let's do alt as well we can then resize that to exactly where we want it click the tick now what we have to do is have this showing up only where there's ink and again this is just like a still image there's no big secret with videos here in photoshop all we have to do is clip that to the video group so hold down alt key and then come between the two and we get this little bent arrow next to a square click and now it's clipped to only where we see the video group we'll see the logo so as i run this through you can see that that's exactly what we're after but not two minutes and seven seconds of it. So let's come on to my layer one here and right click and we get this duration and speed. Now duration will actually cut the clip. What we need to do is change the speed and we can go up to 400% here and that makes it a bit shorter. We're up to, where are we? 32-ish seconds, 31, 32 seconds. Again, this is a bit too long, but actually I only want part of this clip. So once this ink disappears off the bottom, really, um, that will do me fine just about there. So I'm going to zoom in again using the mountains, just so I get this about where I want it. Something like that was good, just before that red bit comes at the top, I think. And just slide this down, click and drag to make that the same size. Let's zoom out so I can do these two as well. And by my reckon, I think it's going to be around about eight seconds, seven, seven seconds and 17 frames. There we go. Now to render this so we can see it, we just press play and it will go through it quite slowly. In fact, it'll be quite jerky as it builds these frames up in the in its memory. It's not too bad, actually, even with recording, we're still getting quite a smooth little video going on here. Once we've got it all blue, we can just go back and we can play that again and it'll play it through exactly as we'll see it when it has been rendered out properly. There we go. It's just caught up with itself, so it's going a little bit slower now. There we go. It's a lot easier than you may think. Right, let's send this out. So I'm going to come over to this fly out menu and I'm going to then come down to render video and I'm going to make my decisions here. H264 is perfect. I'm going to keep it at its original size and a frame rate of 15 frames per second works well for if you want to put something on the web, for example, and it keeps the size down nicely as well. So 15 is going to do me here. Of course, you're quite welcome to go up to uh, 50 was what this was actually shot at, I think, if memory serves. I'm not sure yet, 50 frames per second. Uh, but 15 is going to do me okay here. I could go up to 50 to stop it from being jerky, but let's try it at 15. And uh, I'm going to call this one Water Drop logo or something like that let's go there ink drop logo 2 there we go i've select the folder and we can just start it off render it out and this takes a few minutes of course even with uh well not a few minutes but more than the eight seconds that it actually lasts but even so it's not too long this is all being shown to you in real time which is why i'm waffling and there we go it's about done there we go if i go back over to bridge now we can find uh there we go uh where are we there we go that's the one we just created if we go to film strip we can then play this through and see exactly how we did very good really nice and really easily done so there we go i'm eric Renault. thank you very much for joining me here at tipsquirrel.com don't forget to subscribe for even more photoshop goodness and join me over at tipsquirrel.com for even more until then bye bye for now